Majority of secondary schools countrywide experienced a beehive of activities from early Monday morning as parents took their children for Form 1 admission. This is with no doubt a happy moment for learners as they look to advance the education. First of all, I thank my God for giving me this opportunity to come to this school. I feel great that I'm over here. I'm, I am here with my friends and I feel so excited. I want to know how it goes. I feel very nice and excited to be in this school. It was the school of my choice and I hope I'll cooperate with the teachers very well. This being the fourth cohort under the 100% transition by the government, the Ministry of Education says they have so far met their target. We just have about 20,000 children who are not placed. Everybody who did KCPE has been placed. Those who have not been placed are overage people who will need to go to schools uh, directly, um, p uh, people who did the examinations in, in hospital and uh, in... in, uh, in um, Prisons. The ministry further reiterated that the NEMI system has come in handy in all Form 1 enrollments. All field officers have been asked to ensure that um, the admission of the learners is done via the NEMI system. Remember all the learners also received their admission letters through NEMI and we want that to be completed in the system. But even as the Form 1 students report to their respective schools, things are not that rosy for parents whose finances have greatly been affected by COVID-19. <laughs> A number of parents cite economic challenges as the main hurdle in admitting their sons and daughters to high school. For parents whose children are to report to boarding schools, it is more hectic. At St. George's Girls School, for instance, parents here are required to have a minimum of 53,000 shillings when enrolling their children, apart from the cost of other expenses. Uh, to me, to me, I to almost 70,000 requirements per year, be a fee. And then sasa unaongeza fees, it's coming to a hundred. Na unajua vile ni kubaya. So ndi kungangana tu. Life is very hard with this COVID thing. The high costs of living may also affect high school admission, rendering a number of pupils helpless. Kuna kazi. Toto ndiyo huyo anataka kuenda shule. Rent ndiyo hiyo. Ni mambo mingi binadamu wanapitia, but without money, katika kila kona utaona kukua na most of challenges. Hii maisha, imekua ngumu kapesa. And even as other learners get an opportunity to join Form 1, children in northeastern region may fail to attend their dreams due to an ending in security cases and flood situation which is of great concern. Mvua nae metuadhiri kiasi ambacho si kidogo. So watoto wetu wengi hawataweza kuenda shuleni leo. In Baringo County, the situation has resulted to loss of lives and property, something which is hampering education in the county. And so as the former students join their respective schools, a number of issues are of concern to parents, especially the issue of hurdle of costs, that which comes in handy. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV, Nairobi.